this video is going to talk about solving inequalities by using a graph, by using paper, and by using a table. This first example, what we're going to remember is that when we multiply or divide by a negative number, then we have to switch the inequality. To solve this one, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So negative 6b is going to be greater than or equal to 30. Now I'm okay so far. I don't have to switch the inequality until I do this next step. When I divide by negative 6, then I have to watch my inequality. And I'm going to move it right away so that I don't forget. So this is b, and that was a negative 6 that it was being divided by, so that would give me negative 5. So b has to be less than or equal to negative 5. And let's try negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 6 would be 36, plus 10 would be 46, and 46 is greater than 40, so it works. The only tricky part is that we have x's on both sides, so we want to be careful. So the tricky part about this one is that we have x's on both sides. But if we're careful, we can make sure that it's a positive x so that we don't have to worry about if we have to change the inequality or not. Now, when I look at these two x values, this is 8 and this is 2. 8 is larger and it's already positive, so it would be better to bring the 2 to the other side. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides, 2x to both sides. So now I have 10x plus 1 greater than 51. And if I subtract my 1, 10x is going to be greater than 50. And I'm dividing by a positive number, so x is going to be greater than 5. Now when you look at this one, we have negative 3x and negative 5x on both sides. But if I compare just the 3 and the 5, the 5 is larger. So it would be better to move the 5 to the other side because it will become positive and be the bigger number. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So 5x plus a negative 3x will give me 2x plus 5 less than or equal to negative 7. And then I'm going to subtract my 5 and 2x will be less than or equal to negative 12. And when I divide by 2, I'm again dividing by a positive, so my inequality stays the same, and it's x is less than or equal to negative 6. Let's look at the, some examples that are from a table. So in this example, I'm going to kind of lead you to where it is. So where is f of x equal to g of x? Well, if you look at the table, when the y values are the same, then I know that it's equal. Okay? So we would say that they're equal at x equal 5. Now it says compare f of 3. Well, at f of 3 and g of 3, we have 25 for f of 3 and 45 for g of 3. So f of 3 is less than g of 3. So there's a less than in here. Now it asks me to go on the other side of my equal sign and look at the x equal 6. So f of 6 is 49, g of 6 is 29. So now f of 6 is bigger than g of 6. So it's greater than. So what intervals of value satisfy the inequality where f of x, 8x plus 1, is greater than negative 2x plus 1, 51, that g of x. That's going to be down here below my 5. Because if I look at 7, 57 is bigger than 35. It's also greater than. So it's going to start where? Hmm. Well, it starts at 5. Remember, we're just going to put a parenthesis there because it means really close to 5, but not exactly 5. And then it's going to go like that forever. So it would be infinity. And infinities always have a parenthesis. So how about we're going to look at the graph. It's the same inequality. It's just the graph of it. So now it's asking me to compare f of negative 5 and g of negative 5. Well, negative 5 is right here. So here's g of negative 5, and here is f of negative 5. And it looks like these values up here, this is a positive y value, and this would give me a positive y value. So f of negative 5 is actually going to be less than g of negative 5. Another way to look at it is, we know the higher up on a graph we go, the bigger the numbers. 
g of x value is on top of or above the f of x value, so it's got to be bigger. All right, now it asks us to do f of 10 and g of 10. Here's 10. Now this is g of 10. And then over here, I have f of 10. See, it's on the f function. And when I compare those, f of 10 now is higher or its value looks like 80. This one looks like it's maybe 30. So f of 10 is going to be greater than g of 10. So again, it asks us for the values that would make it true. And it would be that same thing. Let's think one. If we think about the intersection, remember we know that at intersections of two graphs, that's where they're the same. And over here, on this side, we have f is greater than g. And over here on this side, we have f is less than g. So we want to go from here over. So it's going to be from 5, but not including 5, to infinity, just like we found in the case before. So let's talk about a model using inequalities. So we have these two equations here that are one is for the cost of printing flyers by traditional methods and one is for cost of printing flyers using digital printing and we want to know when traditional will be cheaper than digital in other words when t of n is going to be less than d of n that's where we're headed so for a table i would need to have my equation in here and here's my two equations and I've already actually set up the table. So we come back in here to table, and you can see I'm just trying to find, narrow it down. And I'm kind of close, but not real close. So I'm going to jump around. I'm going to come in here to table set, and I'm going to stay at a thousand, but I'm going to try to go maybe every thousand. See if I can get in the right set of thousands, and then I can narrow it down if I need to after that. So second graph again. And I can see that they're getting closer and closer and oh look right there they're the same so that tells me that they are the same for x equal or in this case n equal 4000 so in our table the way we would look at it that way is we would say okay well then we have 3000 and 4000 and 5000 have to have a couple pieces of information in there and then for 3,000, this is 700, this is T of N, and D here, the 3,000 would be 650. And if I do 4,000, that's where they're the same, it's 850 for both. And the 5,000 gives me 1,000 and 1,050. And again, we're just putting more than one piece of data. If you were putting this on a test for me, this is what you would want to do. You would want to show me a table like this and then from here interpret your answer. So when T of N is cheaper, at 3000 T of N is bigger, but at, so we could say that it's greater here, it's equal here, and it's less than, so when it's 4000 it's the same, but anything after 4000 so we would say that it would be 4,000 up into, you know, infinity for the situation. Infinity may not make sense, but more than 4,000. Maybe we should put it that way. More than 4,000 flyers. Well, now we know what the answer is, so let's see if we can get that same answer by graphing and by symbols. So in a graph, I'm going to set my window, and now, since I've looked at the table, I know what my values need to be. So I went to 5,000 in the max, and since I was in the thousands, I went every hundred. And I went to 1,000, because 850, I usually go to the nearest multiple of 10. And when it's that close, I would go to 1,000, and again, every 100. And if I look at my graph, hopefully I can see the intersection. And it's on my, it's on my thing right here. So I need to do second trace 5 for intersect. And then remember you just press enter three times. You don't even have to be close. 
and we see that x is equal to 4,000 and y is equal to 850. And we would put our two equations in here, kind of like we see them. And so it's the way you would get your answer, show your answer. This is your work. This is a number of flyers. And this is cost. And then you've got your ordered pair. And then finally, for symbols, we come back up here to T of n is less than D of n. We can literally put that in. So I'm going to do my symbols over here. Give me a little bit more space. So 250 plus 1.15n, that's T of n, is going to be less than D of n, which was 50 plus 0 0.20 in. So gathering my like terms, I would want to subtract my 0.15 because it's smaller than my 0.2. So 250 is less than 50 plus 0 0.05. That's the difference, n. And then I would want to subtract 50 from both sides. So 200 is less than 0 0.05n. And since I have my calculator here, we'll just verify that 200 divided by my 0 0.05 will give us n is greater than 4,000. There's that number we expected. And that's exactly what we said, more than 4,000 flyers. And my inequality says n has to be greater than 4,000. So you would, of course, want to write a sentence here. So you say that 4,000 and one flyers or more must be made, printed, I guess if we want to be real technical here, for the T of N, we don't know it by any other name, to be cheaper.